Update. I, 20 female, found out my mother, 43 female, had a secret baby. It is not my dad's. Original post. The situation is really messing with my head. And at this point, my own mother and grandmother are near enough attempting to bribe me to stay quiet. So, I, 20 female, am one of the four. Or so I believed until a few days ago. There is me, my twin brother Eddie, 20 male, and two older half-siblings Reuben, 24 male, and Grace, 23 female. Reuben is my mom's first child and Grace is my dad's, 45 male, first also. So, around two years ago, our grandmother on my mom's side had cancer and my mom went and moved in with her for a while to help and care for her. We didn't see her throughout this whole time as my grandmother lives halfway across the country. Plus, at a time, I and my brother was busy with last year's school exams and Reuben was staying with his dad in England, so nobody could go out to visit. Not even dad to see his wife, because he was really busy with work himself. Mom was gone for a total of six months, and when she got back, she had changed. She seemed very sad, and would constantly be all over me and my brother. I assumed she just missed us while she was gone. Two years passed since then, and on a visit home when doing things around the house, I knocked over my mom's handbag and everything fell out. Naturally, it cleaned up, but in my mom's wallet, there was a picture sticking out of her with a newborn baby in a hospital bed. I was confused at first, and thought maybe it was her with me or one of my brothers as babies, but it was dated from the time she was away with my gran. I ended up confronting my mom about it, and she froze at first but then tried brushing me off and changing the subject, but I wouldn't let her. I wanted to know why she was in hospital bed with a baby around the time she was gone. I told her she either tell me or I showed out. That's when she started crying and told me everything. She had an affair with another man that's not my dad. She started her affair in 2018, got knocked up in 2019, and gave birth early 2020. I have a baby brother. She had a secret baby and nobody noticed. My grand knew and covered for her. She never had cancer and she just lied about the chemo and surgeries. How could I be so stupid? I'm so angry with her. I ask her about the pregnancy and the other man, and turns out she didn't go to my grand's to have the baby, but chose the other end of town to her affair partner's house and just didn't leave his house. And what's worse is that he, the affair partner, was 24 at a time with two kids already, but at least he was single. She stayed with her affair partner and his kids while going through her pregnancy and left a baby with him. I asked more about this man, looked him up, and I know him. He is the son of a family friend, and I've seen him around town with my baby brother, and didn't even know it. I've not been doing well since finding all this out. My mom keeps trying to talk to me, but I either lock her out of the room I'm in, or be around my dad so she can talk about it. And whenever she does get a chance to talk to me, she does whatever she can to try and keep me quiet. Even tried bribing me with money or shopping trips. It even got my grand try and guilt trip me. I don't know what to do. Does anyone have any experience with stuff like this? Any advice they can give me? Do I reach out to this man and ask about my brother? Do I tell my dad? I don't even know if she's still continuing the affair or if she's in my brother's life at all. Now for the top advice before reading the first update. This is going to destroy your family. If you choose to not tell your dad, it'll eat you up inside and you'll start to hate your mother and distance yourself from her. If you tell your dad, he'll most likely flip the heck out and leave her. Honestly, your mother's the worst. She deserves everything that comes to her. She cheated on your dad, had a freaking child and lied to everyone about it. And even worse, the person she messed around with is a family friend. Sorry, but she's a pretty horrible person. There was a post on one of the infidelity support subs about a man with three daughters who knew his wife, who was his childhood love, was having an affair and never told him. In fact, they accepted bribes from their mother to not tell him. When he found out that they knew, it destroyed him. Tell your father. It will destroy your parents' marriage, but don't you betray him too. And you aren't damaging your family. Your mom did that by having an affair with a 24-year-old and having a child with him, then living with him while having his kid. My thoughts are, think of this as if you're in your dad's position. Would you want to know? If so, then that should answer everything. If she had just left and stayed with Gran, gave birth, then adopted out the kid to whoever and came home, that's bad enough, but all right. She made a mistake. She got pregnant and dealt with it. Dad should still leave her, but okay. Instead, she left and moved in with him. 
like for months. She up and left you and your dad to live with and, let's be realistic, have constant hookups with him. Especially there was no fear of another baby. They probably talked about how to make it work and they couldn't. In reality, she left your dad for months to be with another man, only returning home when it wouldn't work. And worse, the baby's still close enough for her to see at any time, at any point. 23 and me, answers Tree, the kid will find out at some point who his real mom is. Rip the band-aid. Tell your dad. Mom didn't just have an affair and accidentally get knocked up. She went to live with a lover, sleep with him all the time and then try to come back as if nothing happened. Just no. Now for the first update. So those who DM'd me and friends I have spoken with all told me to tell my dad. And that's what I did. At first, he was in complete and utter denial. Even when I showed him the picture of my mom with my secret little brother and used the text my mom and grand sent me as proof. I had never seen him cry before. Ever. Not even when my uncle died a few years ago, I never saw him tear up. Eventually, my mom came home and my dad just screamed and shouted at her. It was awful. I showed everything to my brothers and sister and my half-sister actually got into a physical fight with my mom. I felt so guilty about saying all this. Mom has gone to my grandma's. Neither of my brothers are talking to her. And when it got out who my mom's affair partner was, my mom's friend group kind of disowned her in a way as he, 26 male, was the son of one of her close friends who already had kids. I wish I could just go back to not knowing about any of this. I don't think my family will ever recover. My older half-brother was in England and is adamant on staying there. My brother is angry with mom and isn't speaking to her either. Dad is just crying and saying he is going to hire a cutthroat lawyer to divorce my mom. And mom is distraught blaming me, but is demanding I talk to her as she doesn't want to lose any more of her children. You are not to blame for this at all. Your mother was an adult who knowingly and willfully betrayed your father and family. She could have stopped at any point before pregnancy and ended it, but she did not. This is what happens when you break someone's love and trust. She had a love child with a guy. Insane. Yes, her blaming Opie itself shows exactly how remorseful and how much she regrets her actions. She doesn't give a damn that she blew up her family, but is blaming it on Opie. She made her mother lie about having cancer and acted like she was in another country to cover up her affair and pregnancy. She continued seeing him the entire time. Don't know why she came back. But it's probably because she knew everybody would hate her for what she did. And she would lose her stable family home. She's also a super creep for having an affair with her friend's son. She deserves everything coming to her. I agree. She chose to cheat on Opie's dad and got pregnant. She has a lot of nerve blaming Opie for her choices. You did the right thing. Your father was nothing but a good man faithful husband, and a caring dad. What your mom did was downright evil. And the only thing worse than having a secret kid slash affair at the edge of town would be somehow tricking your dad into thinking the kid was his and raising it. Actions like that need to be brought to the light. And your father needed to know the truth about the woman he thought he knew. Yeah, it caused a rift, but it needed to happen. There's a silver lining at least. All of your original siblings are grown, so there's no child support to worry about. And after the divorce, she can just hook up with her boy toy and be the mother to his two kids and their toddler. She still gets a family after all. This isn't your fault. This was bound to come out eventually. And if it came out in 20 years, when a kid was old enough to take a DNA test and find out for themselves, then the thing is you'd be disowned by everyone for helping your mom cover it for two decades. You did right by shortening the timeline. Now for the last update. Hello folks, me again. Quite a few things have happened since my last update, so I figured I'd post one last time. The situation I feel, and I'm hoping, is coming to a close. My parents are divorcing. My dad filed not so long after he found out about the baby. Mom tried to convince him not to, but it was futile. My brother still won't talk to her and my half-sister still hates her and doesn't regret hitting my mom. And I'm still feeling guilty for starting all this. Not as much as I did, but still not great. My dad wanted to know what her affair partner had to say for himself, and I went with him to hear what he had to say too, and to calm my dad down in case he would get violent. When we arrived on his doorstep, he looked as if he was expecting this would happen. I got to actually meet my little brother and spend time with him while there. 
Turns out my mom was originally planning to play the baby off as my dad's, but her affair partner wanted to be in his kid's life and would expose their affair. Mom's plan wouldn't have worked anyway, as the baby very clearly looks nothing like my dad or mom who both are pale with blonde hair, and my baby brother has pure black hair and an olive skin tone like his dad. On to the affair. The affair partner told us that our mom told him that my folks were in an open marriage, a sort of don't ask, don't tell thing. So I went along with it and didn't find out she was lying until much later when mom was pregnant. And he showed us text between them confirming that he thought it was fine to meet up with my mom for hookups. My dad broke down in tears on this guy's couch and this man comforted my dad. This man had felt so guilty about lying to my dad's face, from when they'd see each other around town or at friends' barbecues, but didn't want to ruin our family. He then sent screenshots of the text between him and my mom to my dad to use in court against my mom as she's trying to get what she can out of him at the moment. My relationship with my mom is still damaged. At any time she tries to blame me, I tell her it was her own actions that caused all this and that I will be distancing myself from her for a while. She pleaded with me not to do that, but I ended up blocking her like my brothers did. Since then, I've gone back to college and have a trip planned with my sister to go on vacation to Jamaica to visit her grandma. So that's the only thing I have to look forward to these days. Edit, some people have gotten confused about who is who in my family, especially around me and my siblings and ethnicities. Me and my twin brother, the bio kids of both mom and dad, are very blonde Americans. Older half-brother, who is my mom's first child, is in England currently with his dad. Older half-sister, who is my dad's first child that he had with a Jamaican woman that passed when my sister was young. Baby half-brother that mom had with her affair partner. Her affair partner was Italian and Native American descent. Both my folks are blonde with pale skin and blue eyes. Wow, your mom pretty much destroyed her life. And honestly, she deserves it at this point. She lied, manipulated, and cheated. So this is all on her. That would keep her blocked for the rest of your life. She must know that actions have consequences. And those consequences will last a lifetime. I can't believe how narcissistic she is about all this. Honestly, man, good riddance. She will ruin your life if you let her back in. The plan to pass the kid off as Opie's dad was what nailed it for me. What utter trash of a human. That's like the most evil thing someone can do to someone they're supposed to love. I know, man. This woman truly has some issues. I'm glad Opie and their family decided to cut contact. This is pretty much the end of her. Everything she cared about was destroyed by her, and now nobody wants anything to do with her. No idea how I missed this story before this, but holy crap, what a wild journey. I hope your dad has a good attorney, since a child born to your mom while they are married is generally legally presumed to be your dad's, not the other guy's. She was away at her mom's when the baby was born. The biological father is more than likely on the birth certificate as his sole custody. I don't see how Opie's dad would be on the hook. He's legally not the father. I'm sure paternity was already established. Unfortunately, many states still have putative father laws, which is how Opie's dad could be on the hook even when it's not his kid. It doesn't matter where she was when the kid was born. It only matters that the law states that if they were married, about to be married, or within a certain time frame of divorce, then the husband is legally liable as the father. Even if you can establish paternity is not the husband's, it doesn't matter. Putative father. Putative father, in general, means a man who hasn't legally established a relationship to a child, but who's alleged to be or claims to be the biological father of a child, who was born to a woman to whom he wasn't married at a time. In general, a man may be presumed to be the father of a child if one of the following is true. He and the child's mother are or were married to each other, and the child is born during the marriage or within 300 days after the marriage has ended. Before the birth of the child, he and the child's mother attempted to marry, and the marriage is or could be declared invalid, and the child is born during the marriage or within 300 days after the marriage is terminated. These are antiquated laws that are unfortunately still used even despite genetic testing that can prove otherwise. Alaska? Presumed father under Alaska court practice. If a child is born while the mother is married, the husband is automatically considered to be the legal father. Even a birth certificate signed by the real father won't get a husband off the hook in Alaska. If you are or were married, it's yours. 